Hi, I'm Bob and I'm with Conquering Clutter. Uh, we're a custom closet organization company and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn the basics of closets. Okay, and so with these components that you have here, it's going to help you put together or give you a good idea what you need to do for your closet system. Okay, so let's begin. Double hang. Um, this is like the major component of a, of a closet. And you've always heard where these commercials where everybody says they're going to double your closet space and things like that. Well, this is how they do it, okay? Double hang. It's a hang over hang, and this is what you're going to use the most of in your closet system. Okay, and we're going to explain that in just a few moments here. So get out your paper and your pen, all right? Take some notes here, because this is going to help you get where you need to be. And help save you some money too, okay? Long hang. Long hang is, is for your gowns. Some guys like to hang their suits up with their pants and things like that. Um, so you'll see that now and then, but long hang is a very small component of your closet, or it could be large, it just depends what your needs are. And we'll talk about that too. Shelving. Shelves are also important. Shelves can hold anything from shoes, folded sweaters, jeans. Sometimes you don't have a linen closet in your master and you want to have some stuff for linens, things like that. Then drawers, which help put clothing away so you don't see them. Um, also gives you easy access because a drawer pulls out, rather a shelf is there. And you can put you know, things that you don't want to get dusty or anything like that in there. And then accessories, okay? So accessories are hampers, uh, shoe, pull out shoe shelves. Um, you, so you have to allow for these things and you have to keep it in your head what you want when you're designing your closet or you're working with your designer from your custom closet company. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna get into these, okay? So like I said, have your tablet and pen ready and we go from here. So let me erase this here, okay? So let's talk about double hang, all right? A double hang system consists of two rods like this and you got your hanger like so okay and usually it's 84 inches tall all right the reason it's 84 inches tall so you could get 42 over 42 that's pretty much for standard people you know height size wise um, it can go up to 88 sometimes I'm seeing it go um, to 90 you know it just depends the height too but 42 is very comfortable for most of us okay and so, unless you're Shaquille O'Neal and he and his he isn't even on this board okay so here's if you have a 96 inch closet or if you have uh, 108 so 108 is 9 feet 96 of course is 8 feet so you would have just oops let me just erase that real quick so you get the understanding of it and a 96 inch closet 8 foot this means you would have 12 inches of space here above and that can get some nice stuff up there 84 inches is still within reach for you to grab your hanger and pull it down and so this is for an, an eight foot but then when you go to nine foot what you'll do is you'll add another shelf on the top like this what's nice about this is if you have nine foot ceilings to so take advantage of this you still have your 12 inches above like I said um, but what you'll do is you'll gain another foot of space so you're not double stacking everything on top of each other trying to pull it out and fighting that you know so it's a good way to do it or if you're even taller it allows you to move the pole and shelf up so you can adjust for that okay and that gets you by with everything you need to know about a double hang okay and like I said at the end of this you can be able to ask questions or send us emails on that and go from there okay so the next thing on our list that we talked about was a long hang, okay? Long hangs are usually, we'll put a pole here, okay? And I'm gonna just show you two things, two options about this, all right? So 68 inches is standard. Now these are just standard heights, okay? Standard height from the floor to the top of the rod is 68. That allows you to hang your gowns, uh, longer items, uh, trench coats, things like that, okay? 68 inches, remember that and write that down. So what that does is give you that 12 inch shelf and that will give you for a 96 inch tall closet ceiling height, 12 inches above, okay? Or you can take the shelf that's above this because you have the 12 inch, put it at the bottom and you can put your shoes down here, briefcase, 
maybe a piece of luggage, whatever, and it gets you there. So this would be still the same height as your double hang top shelf at 84. That's important because it gives it a nice clean look if you happen to put it up or if you want it down. That's your own personal preference. I like it down on the bottom. And then we can put some stuff like we have like a little phobia going on about shoes above clothes, okay? So we like our shoes down below. You may like that too, okay? Now let's talk about shelving. Shelving is a, is a key component in your closet because you don't hang everything. And so what you want to do is size your shelf. If this is 84 inches tall, okay? Always keep in mind if you're making these for shoes, women's shoes are usually eight inches a pair together, eight inches. So in a 24 inch wide shelf section, this way, you would get three pair of shoes perfectly, okay? And that's important because the whole key to getting a closet system is to have a place for everything. If you're double stacking shoes, it's, it's let me tell you, you gotta pull that out and find out. We're trying to alleviate stress, but also get you some key locations to store things because if it's a headache to put it away, more than likely you're not going to. So if you could put your shoes in just like that and know the color of them and see them all, you're gonna like it better. So remember, three pair in a 24 inch section for ladies. For men, it is gonna have to be 30 inches. Guys, shoes measure 10 inches together and so that's a key thing too. So for him to get his shoes all nice and neat, three pair to a shelf, 30 inches. Okay, for a woman though, 32 inches, you can get four pair of shoes um, and you don't want to start getting over that width because as time goes on, your shelves will start to bow a little bit. Um, with today's products out there, they're made a lot stronger and things like that and they prevent that. So that's a key thing to know on, on shelving. So what I want to tell you though is 84 inches and then you have 12 inches. If we have an eight foot ceiling, you'll have another shelf up above. But one of the key things to remember is you can't just put a ton of shelves on here. These are three quarter inch thick, okay? So if you took them all and stacked them, you would have a, a, just a typical um, eight shelf. You're gonna have six inches of material stacked up. That's a whole row of shoes. So keep that in mind too. You can't put 20 shelves in a section. Usually in an 84 inch, you can do eight comfortably. You don't wanna have them too tight so you're hurting your knuckles on the, on the material. On a 96 inch, you can get 10, okay? And that's a good way to go about it. On shelves though, um, those make sure that those sit on the floor. Um, a lot of, I've seen some companies hang them up above the, um, your casing on the bottom. You don't wanna do that. I've had in the past failures from it because you can put a lot of weight on shelving, okay? It's best to go to the floor with those, all right? So next thing is drawer units. Drawers usually come 20, 18, 24, and 30. Okay, you can go 36 inch wide, but that's a pretty big drawer. Every time you open and close it, stuff is moving all over the place and getting disorganized. 18, if you don't have the space and you're trying to get it in there, it's a still a good drawer. Usually these are the two that you wanna stick with, 24 or 30. Um, on a 24 inch, you can fold your sweaters, 12 and 12 on each side. That's the nice thing about that. On a 30, you could still fold them up a little bit tighter or get three pair of jeans and stuff like that going across, okay? A lot of drawers are different heights. Try to go not too deep, but deep. The key thing about this is, is though, the deeper you go, remember you're pulling that clothing out of the bottom to get to, and it's always a pain to find out what you have in that drawer. You don't want your wife coming down and you say, where did you get that? And she says, I just bought this. That's not the case, okay? <laughs> you want her to use everything she's got in her drawers, all right? So that's this one here, and um, that is your drawers, all right? Drawers can go anywhere. Try to put them in sections in the middle so when you're open and closing, they're easy to get to. Um, keeping them off in a corner, that's not really good because you don't want to be tight doing things, okay? So the next thing to know is accessories, all right? Accessories come in 18, 24, 30, and new ones nowadays are coming in 36. And these are widths. So remember that you want a, a hamper, you usually try to go with a 24 inch or 30 inch. 18 inches is a single bag hamper. Um, they're good. 
you know, but it's just one bag. Remember that. And the bag is 18 inches wide. You, you, it depends how often you do laundry and that. And, and like I said, 30 inches is very good one. You usually get two bags, 24 is two. 36 is starting to get really big, but they're starting to have them out there, okay? Uh, other accessories could be pull out shoe shells, um, jewelry inserts. You can do um, belt tie racks, ballet rods, scarves, all those sort of things like that go into your closet basics, okay? Um, what I want to say is like when you go out and you, this is a very large investment, but you have to also remember that the closet is an investment too. It's an investment in your health and it's an investment in your home. You'll get your money back out of a closet, okay? And one nice thing about closets, they are flexible. Most of them designed where you can move shelves up and down, poles up and down. Um, so it's for the new owner too. If they happen to come in, they can make some switches very easily with their closet system, okay? The other thing I want you to do is make sure that you like our channel, um, subscribe to us. We're gonna be doing more and more of these videos. We're gonna be teaching you everything there is to know about organization, not just closets, okay? And our company tagline, my wife came up with this, and, and if you wanna think about this, this is absolutely the truth. Organization isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. In order to have a healthy life, you wanna alleviate stress, okay? How to do that in the closet, starting your day out right, make sure there's a place for everything. And this should help you get by with the basics. Again, I'm Bob. Thank you for watching Conquering Clutter. And like I said, watch for more upcoming videos. Like us. You're going to.